And well, the escalating tensions between the United States and Iran after the U.S. strike on top of uh, Iranian General Qasem Soleimani will not only have an impact on the two countries, but is also likely to have an effect on the entire West Asia region. An impact of, on these oil-producing countries will in turn have a ripple effect on the rest of the world. So let's bring into focus how the lives of Indians in the region will be impacted. There are about 20 million non-resident Indians living in the Persian Gulf region in countries like Saudi Arabia, Iran, Iraq, Kuwait and even Qatar. Now these are the countries which will be most impacted if tensions escalate into a war situation. Let's further break this down for our viewers. In Saudi Arabia, for instance, there are about 1.8 million Indians who contribute to remittances of about $8.9 billion. India imports about 19% of its fuel consumption from Saudi Arabia annually, whereas imports from India are worth about $8.6 billion. In 2018, 2.37 million Muslims made the Hajj pilgrimage to Mecca in Saudi Arabia, and many of them were Indian Muslims. Further escalation of tensions will no doubt have an impact on what is the spiritual pinnacle for close to 2 billion Muslims across the world. Now, Iran may have a small population of Indians at about 4,000 people, but India imports about 6% of its oil from the country. In fact, imports from India by Iran stand at about $2.6 billion, the third biggest for India. In Iraq, there are about 9,000 Indians residing, contributing to remittances of about $1 million. That is, 13% of India's oil imports come from Iraq, whereas imports from India are about $1.3 billion. Another country that will be hugely impacted by the looming threat of war between Iran and United States is Kuwait. Now, there is a huge population of Indians in Kuwait at about 6 million who contribute a remittance of $2.9 billion annually. Indian oil imports stand at 10% uh, from Kuwait and the country imports goods worth $1 billion from India. About half a million Indians reside in Qatar, bringing in remittances of $2.3 billion and Qatar imports goods worth $0.7 billion and India imports at least 7.5 million tons of gas per annum from Qatar. And while the world is witnessing war cries and calls for vengeance, the political and diplomatic instability will have a cascading effect on countries across the world. Fuel prices are likely to rise if the countries in the Persian Gulf that majorly export oil across the world feel the pressure. In fact, we can already witness fuel prices rising slightly across the globe. Rise of fuel prices is usually followed by inflation across the spectrum, including food prices, transportation, consumer goods and many services. Disruption in economy in the Gulf countries can leave many jobless. If war-like situation arises, then the onus will be on the national governments to bring their na nationals home. So you might be sitting miles away in a politically neutral country and observing the development in West Asia, but the fact is, this conflict will ultimately impact us all. <laughs> Thank you.